Hello guys and girls and welcome back to another Thorncraft 4.2 tutorial. So today we're going to be covering a little bit more on the artifice side of things. Almost done with this, getting very close to it at the very least. Um, what we're going to be covering in today's video is mirror magic. So you can do some pretty cool things with the mirrors in this. And I'm going to explain how they all work for you guys today. So you've got three different types of mirrors as you can see here. And we're going to have a quick look at all of them right now. So uh, you're able to enchant a pair of magical mirrors that act as doorways to the void between the worlds. Anything shoved or piped through one mirror will pass through this realm and emerge from another mirror, even across dimensional boundaries. Unfortunately, this realm was extremely hostile to mortal creatures like yourself, so using these mirrors to transport living creatures is not yet possible. It says not yet, so maybe that gets incorporated later on uh, down the line in Thorncraft. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, to link a pair of these magical mirrors, you simply need to place one in their desired location. You then right-click with a second mirror on the one you place, and the pair will become linked. You may be Place the second wherever you wish, and items thrown into one will be ejected out of the others. Uh, mirrors can only be linked in pairs, so you can't link more than two together. Uh, you can only have like one on one side and one coming out the other side, and you're not going to be able to put like a third one on there and maybe like have that as an input. It's just going to be the two uh, on its own. Um, Cannot link to when you pick up a mirror. Remember the last partner as if it was linked with, allowing you to easily move it without having to relink it. While one of the pair of mirrors is picked up, you may easily relink either of them. Um, so this is not too bad. Uh, it's a little bit slow, by the way. It does state this over here. As uh, automatically slows down the rate which items spit out the other side. The greater the instability, the more transfer rate slow. This instability slowly lessens over time, but can also be negated by relaying auto this directly to the mirror. So you can actually have, um, if you remember how we do the whole this relay stuff, you can power this with auto this, and that'll um, negate it completely and it's not gonna slow down whatsoever. Uh, but what I've done is I've made a couple of these mirrors here. They're not too hard to make. It's a couple, it's done with infusion, mirror glass in the middle. Mirror glass is glass pane and quicksilver, bits of gold and an ender pearl on your infusion table over there. And it takes a couple bits and pieces, as it normally does. Eight of each of these, not too bad at all. Uh, so what you can do with these is you link them together. I've got a link set up already. Uh, I've got one here, and I've got one all the way over there in front of a hungry chest. Uh, just to let you guys quickly see, there was nothing in that said hungry chest. We're going to grab some arcane stone blocks, though. We're going to run all the way over here. Then we're going to go like that. And we're going to throw it in there. And we're going to go throw a couple in there, actually. Like, how many was that? Seven? Yeah, we threw seven in there. Let's go see how we're doing over on this side of things. So we've got seven over in here. So the hungry chest has gobbled all that up for us. So it's a really, really nifty way to transport items. You can put pipes onto it as well and pipe them over that way. So you can pretty much do this across dimensions and pretty much have like a... Uh, just a limited, unlimited flow of things. You can have like an export pipe on one side, import pipe on the other side, and do it between dimensions, and it's literally like seamless, especially if you're pumping it with auto vest. Cool, so that's the your standard magic uh, mirror. Your standard, uh, yeah, magic mirror. And next upgrade you can get is Essentia Mirrors. So Magical Mirrors are very useful for transporting items over long distances, but what if the same principle can be applied to Essentia? You think you've discovered a, you have discovered a way to do just that. Essentia Mirrors, like their name implies, can transport Essentia in the same way that Magic Mirrors transport items. There are very few important limitations, however. You cannot pipe Essentia directly into the mirrors. They can only able... They were only able to transport Essentia that has been drawn from a source towards something like an infusion matrix. The effect of the mirrors allow these things to draw Essentia from sources via the mirror. And so here we've got an Essentia mirror and I've got it linked up over here. And we've got a little demonstration on the go here for you today just to show you how this works. Uh, so, and it also links up to the magical hand mirror, which is going to be the next one we're going to have a look at. So we're going to actually do the infusion bit for this. So we've got paper, uh, empty map, sorry, a stick, compass, and a magic mirror in the middle. Ta-da! 
And as you can see here, it's gonna require Instrumentum and Iter. Uh, if you remember back to the Infusion Altar tutorial thing that I did, you need to have everything within this purple radius for the Pol Essentia. As you can see, we have no Instrumentum here whatsoever. We got some Iter here, but we've got no Instrumentum. I've got Instrumentum just out of the range here in front of this Essentia mirror. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it there and we're going to see if it pulls through here and does the infusion thing for us. Let's give that a quick go. There you go. As you can see, it's pulling the Essentia out of the jar, which is out of the uh, out of the zone. It's pulling it through the mirror to this mirror here and then pushing it out. This is actually closer to that, so it's actually pulling that through as well, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but this pretty much allows you to have like all your jars around one of these mirrors. Not sure on the radius of this thing. Oh, did you do it? Yeah, it did it, it did it. Uh, but yeah, so it's really, really cool. You could have all your jars like really far away and then just have one of these mirrors sort of just like maybe above your altar somewhere. And that would save you a load of space and a lot of clutter around your altar, which is a quite a nifty little idea. And again, these things aren't very expensive to make. Let's go have a look over here. So you've got three iron ingots, ender pearl, and a mirrored glass for one of them. So that's not too bad. An infusion thingy again. Again, not a lot of it uh, essentially is needed. Um, so, yeah. Pretty nifty little way to transport essentia if you don't want to have all your jars surrounding your altar. Cool. So the very last thing we're going to have a look at is the magic hand mirror. So the thing is you can do with this is you can open it up. And you see we get this little... Uh, GUI slot thing here. This is linked up over here. So there's seven things in that chest. If we open this up and we put maybe put eight items in there. As you saw, they just all spat out over there. Literally just spat out. And we got 15 in there now. So this is a way you can import items through your mirror on the go. So if you're mining or something and you want to spit into something like a hungry chest. You could just put like your stacks of cobblestone in there, uh, your diamonds, let's say we've just gone mining, got loads of diamonds, we don't want to fall in lava and lose them. Open your little magic mirror, chuck your diamond in, have a hungry chest on the other side or an item piping out into something else, and your diamonds are safe. So if you fall in lava, you're not going to lose them. Uh, but that is it for the magical mirrors. Very, very simple stuff, but very, very cool stuff at the same time. And adds a lot of very, very interesting um, pieces, uh, very interesting mechanics and things you can do with them. Uh, it's up to you. It's up to your imagination what you can actually achieve with these. As as it is with a lot of the stuff in Thorncraft. If you can imagine it, you'd probably be able to do it. So um, I'll leave all this up to your imagination and see what you guys can come up with. And yeah, if you do come up with anything cool, do let me know because I'd be very interested to see. I'm always interested in seeing Thorncraft things. See if you can come up with something new and different. Um, but thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you guys have yourselves a very fantastic day. Make sure you hit that like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see your beautiful faces in the next video. Goodbye.